Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another lure hunting video. Today I have one of my buddies joining me. This is... Luke. This is Luke. Last time we saw Luke, he was battling it out in a fishing battle. Remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But today we're not doing a fishing battle. Today we are out here at the drained lake, and we're going to be searching for some fishing lures. Two pairs of eyes is better than one, so I decided to bring Luke along. He has some experience searching for stuff too, and we're going to comb the shore and see what we can find. Let's do it. All right, Luke just spotted this lure right here. Go ahead and pick it up. Let's see what we got. Looks like a lipless crankbait of some sort, right? Yeah. Doesn't have any hooks, but I think with a little cleaning and new hooks, that bait will be in working condition. Yeah. All right, guys, just spotted a bait up in this tree. I think it's a buzz bait or a spinner bait. Let's see if I can hook it. All right. All right, guys, there you go. Nice little buzz bait in decent condition. Hooks are still good. Um, it's a little bent up, but I can I can reshape it and it should be ready to roll. Just found this guy laying right on top of the mud right here. Another chatterbait. Yeah, the hook might be usable, we'll see. Might be able to resharpen that. Just spotted this in the mud, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's just a jig head, but jig head's still in good shape, I think. Luke just spotted a bait, I walked right by this thing, what do we got? Ooh, chatterbait. Nice, wrapped around that tree, huh? Yep. Good find, it's in good, sh good shape. It's a good looking bait right there. All right, Luke just spotted a crankbait up in this tree. Just gonna use a stick to pull it down. Oh, oh, oh All right, there she is. It's in really good shape. Really yeah, good look shape. at that, it's a flicker shad. Great shape. Best find of the day so far. Yes it is. Let's go. All right, Luke just found another one. Go grab it. Nice looking uh, spinner bait. Or is it a crank, a spinner bait or buzz bait? Spinner bait. Oh yeah, just stuck up in that tree. Oh, nice. Good looking spinner bait right there. Strike King, I think. So like I mentioned, we've had a lot of rain recently and it's really washed a lot of silt and a lot of mud off these rocks. And here's a classic example of the new stuff that I'm finding. So I just came across this right here. As you can see, it is the tail end of a lipless crankbait and it's barely exposed. So thanks to all that rain, it has uncovered just the very tail of this bait. Let's see what we got. Ooh, nice. Beautiful rattle trap in really good condition. And this bait has not been in the water long and yet it has been buried under some muck. So. Great find. Just spotted another bait right here. As you can see, another lipless crankbait. Just barely buried under the muck. All right, just found this guy right here laying in the mud. Looks like a uh, multi-jointed swim bait. You can buy these kind of like off Amazon. There's a little bait up in this tree. Looks like a little spinner bait. Got it. <sighs> nice little spinner bait. Came right out of that tree. Just spotted this right here in the mud. Looks like a spoon. No hook on it, but so cool. Spotted something right here. Let's see what we got. Looks like a spinner bait of some kind. Ooh. In pretty terrible condition though. Yeah, that's not a keeper, but still interesting. All right, just spotted this guy right here. Nice little jig caught up on this branch. Sweet. All right, I thought this was a leaf at first, but I took a closer look. Check this out. Ta-da! It's not a leaf. Nice little crankbait. Good find, Luke? Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, just came up on this rock right here, and I think somebody has already been here searching around because there's a couple baits just kind of piled on the rock. There's a nice jig right here. Now the hook's a little crusty, but I may be able to resharpen that hook. So I'll take this out of here. Uh, this is the best find so far out of this pile. Kind of hilarious. Just found this right here. Looks like a knife of some kind. Multi-tool. In really good shape. Sweet. Found this. Looks like some sort of a spinner bait. I wonder how good the condition is on it. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. There you go. Spinner bait. Bought another bait right here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it looks like an old chatter bait of some sort. Not in great shape. Just spotted a bait right here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that water's chilly. Oh yeah. Lipless crankbait right there. No hooks on it, but still very usable. So I just spotted this little piece of a silicone skirt sticking out of the sand. So I just dug a little bit and it looks like there's a bait down here. Yes, sir. Check that out. A jig of some sort. Might be usable. Cool. All right, just found another bait right here. This one's tucked up in this mud. Identical to the last one I found, no hooks on it as well. Super cool. All right, just found this guy right here. Little spinner bait of some sort. 
think it's still in decent shape. I'll have to clean it up a little bit, but nice find. Just spotted a jig right here, buried in the muck. See if the hook's in any good shape. Oh yeah, hook's in good shape. Good find right there. Okay, so these are Luke's finds for the day. He started off finding this little rattle trap bait. Again, just need some new hooks and uh, it'll work just fine. Still got the rattles in it. He found a really nice chatter bait, a really nice spinner bait too, in really good condition. Uh, nice little worm right here he decided to pick up with a hook. And then his best find of the day is this Berkeley Flicker Shad in almost new condition, wouldn't you say, Luke? Yes. You found that, one in, found that one in a tree? Yes. Awesome, all right. So Luke found some good stuff right there. Good morning guys, it is another day back on the lure hunting grinds. I do not have Luke with me today, unfortunately, uh, but nevertheless, we're gonna go out and look for some fishing lures. Today I'm actually gonna be checking out a new lake. I've never been to this lake before. It's a bit of a drive from my house, but I thought it'd be worth taking a look up there. So without further ado, let's head to the lake. I got my coffee in hand, let's roll. All right, first find of the day. As you can see, got a chatterbait stuck up there in that tree. Should be able to use my hook to get that down. Here we go. Easy peasy. That one was barely hanging on too. Beautiful chatterbait right there in really good condition. Cool blade on it too. Just spotted something out here on this log. Let's take a look at it and see what we got. Looks like some sort of... Oh yeah, look at that. Some sort of a fly with a steel leader. Interesting. Not worth a whole lot, but still interesting find. All right, we got a crankbait hanging out of this tree right here. Just gonna try and snag it. Yeah, I think I got a good, good hook on it there. Come on, there we go. Nice crankbait right there, in really good shape. All right, just spotted a bait up in this tree here. Right there it is, looks like a nice crankbait of some sort. I kinda have to stand up here on these limbs, but I should be able to get it with my pole, let's see. Okay, I got the hooks attached, there we go. Come here, don't sink. Got it. All right. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful find right there. Looks like a Rapala jointed minnow in very, very good shape. Sweet. All right, just rolled up to this picnic area and the first thing I see is a buzz bait just sitting, chilling on the ground right here. I don't know if it fell out of this tree or what, but. I'll take it. All right, just spotted something in the mud here. Let's see what we got. Looks like the tail of some sort of a swim bait. There you go, look at that. Nice swim bait right there. I'll see how it cleans up. Looks like it might be in okay shape. All right, just spotted something right here in the flowing water. Let's take a look. That is a old piece of a spinner bait. Not Keepable. All right guys, so these are all the finds from the last couple of days of lure hunting. Starting off down here at the end, found this uh, nice knife right here, multi-tool. It's in really great shape, it's hardly rusted at all. So great find right there. Uh, down here at the crusty end, I found this jig head, which looks kind of cool, so I picked that up. Found this old spoon right here. I don't know if this is salvageable, but still picked it up. Um, found a spinner bait. Found a jig right here, found a chatterbait, and all of these, uh, the hooks are in pretty bad shape. I still might try to file some of these and sharpen them, but as of right now, these aren't super great. But nevertheless, moving on, found this guy right here. This is a, a bait that I actually fish a lot uh, with. I throw it for Northern Pike. It's a decent little bait. Found that one in decent shape. And then these are the jigs that uh, had decent hooks. Found a nice jig right here. Black and blue one. Found this beautiful chatterbait up in a tree. It's pretty cool. Another nice jig right there. Found a nice little booyah spinnerbait right here. And then I found this guy, which is super cool. It's like a micro little spinnerbait in really good shape. I found this thing just laying on the ground at one of the parks. This is like an $11 buzzbait. So pretty awesome buzzbait right there. Found this buzzbait up in a tree. Uh, I need to untangle the braid from it, but it's still very usable, very cool. Now on to the crankbaits. Found these two Ozark Trail lipless crankbaits. Uh, relatively inexpensive bait. They're still cool to find them. They just need new hooks and they're ready to go. Found a rattle trap. Of course, I always find a lot of rattle traps. This one just needs a little cleaning and new hooks and it's ready to roll. Found a transcend jointed swim bait. These are kind of like an Amazon budget bait right here. Kind of neat. And then another Ozark Trail bait right here. This one's in really good shape though. Almost looks like it's brand new out of the package. Pretty cool. I found this beautiful rattle trap right here in really great shape. And then I also found a little jerk bait right here. This is more of a cheaper kind of Amazon style bait, but still in really good shape. And then the best find of the whole trip, I would say, is this jointed husky jerk right here in fantastic shape. Really beautiful bait. 
super awesome. So if you take all these baits and combine them with the baits that Luke found on our first outing, the total retail value for all the stuff that me and Luke found is over $110, which is actually really awesome. Again, a lot of this stuff I'm going to put back to use, put new hooks on it, and it's ready to roll. Some of this stuff might be a little too crusty to salvage. We'll see once.